Hello, my name is Pixelia Twix. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Yes, you guys, we are back. Um, and if you've been, been keeping up with the, the channel and the, and the community tab, I did lose my save because I got a new rig and wasn't thinking to save my, uh, put my save on an external hard drive, thinking that this game had a cloud save. The game is too old to even have a cloud save in Steam, so I had to basically start over. I did put a poll out and ask if you guys wanted me to go ahead and just continue on with Dragon Age 2, like uh, Dragon Age 1, Dragon Age Origins was finished, or if you wanted me to start an, entire, an entirely new series. Um, after thinking it through, I went ahead and decided that I was just going to try to get through the content as fast as I possibly could offline so I can get back to where we left off. And I did... Um, have a little help full transparency um i use mods to help me get through um the game because um i didn't want to it was it was hard it was because i had just went through the content and i it you know i was like okay i gotta get through this so i did it in like a couple days like it was marathoning all the way through so you will see some like weird stuff with my game whereas like some um my level ups I, so many, look, I cheated, okay, I did, I cheated a little bit, but I really want to get to the game, so we're going to try to um, ignore the mods as much as possible, skip the fade really didn't work for me, so really that was like the, the biggest mod that I put in, didn't work, I had to go through the fade, that took forever, um, but yeah, so anyways, I tried to, to make the same choices that I did before, um, there were a couple things that came up differently um, because of the way I answered um, a companion or um, interacted with an NPC in a quest line. But for the most part, my decisions were the same. I am still romancing Alistair and um, we did not kill Morgan's mother, Flemeth. And we have Shale. So that's where we left off. We grabbed Shale. And so I decided that we were going to try to go and um, get through. What did I say? Did I say? I think we're going to go for Orgamar. Orgamar. This is in World of Warcraft. I think we're going to try to go to the Dwarven area, the Prospect Mountains, where we were before. Um, and I think. That's where we're going to go. I was going to do the Brazilian outskirts. I don't know what these are. I think these are... I don't know what these are. But I haven't done these, obviously. Or maybe I have. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to go here to the Frostback Mountains. So that's our next quest. All right, guys. Let's get popping. Let's get it popping. <laughs> okay, so... Hmm. I think I'm gonna take Shale. Yes. yes. Alistair. Yes. And when? I don't know, guys. But we're gonna go. We're gonna do it. I don't know. I haven't used Shale at all, so this is going to be new. I'm hoping Shale is is strong enough to get through the content. Oh, we're not getting stopped. Are we going to go all the way through without getting stopped? You're freaking Rika. All right. Let's see. Shale has nothing. What is this? Rock mastery? Shake. What is this? Curl rock. Okay, so she has some of the, the golem stuff. Stone aura. What does this do? Shale activates a support mode that imbues uh, nearby party members with bonuses to attack, defense, and health regen. Okay, so this is a sustain. These are all activated, looks like. So she's basically a warrior? She's a warrior. I am a warrior. 
All right, activate. All right, I'm just gonna... Sorry, I'm just kind of like going through, obviously going through her stuff. So she's basically a tank. Okay. Yeah, it looks like she's a tank. So how many of these can I disable by effects? So I can't use all of these. Requires active ability rock mastery. Okay, so I don't have. Okay, cool. All right. We'll just, uh, we'll just, uh, we'll just keep going. That's what we'll do. So we're back here. And I remember, um, the last time we were here, we were looking for Sten's sword. So in my last save, we, Sten's sword was sold by a guy here to Dwen. Remember Dwen in Red Cliff, uh, Red Cliff Village? Well, in <laughs> this last playthrough that I did, Dwen died. I killed him. Um... Is this, who is this? Oh, this is the guy, Farron. Okay, we already talked to him. We don't need to talk to him again. How's my inventory looking? It's all right. It's okay. will not suffer the delay of his appointed messenger. Okay. Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the King's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Shale looks beefy. All right, I have urgent need to talk to your King. Why have your people retreated like this? I have important business in Orzammar. Why have your people retreated? No, I have um, urgent need to talk to your King. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. Who are you? Endrin Iduken returned to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. Mm -hmm. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. I'm a Grey Warden. This treaty obliged. Is Orzammar to aid me? No. Let's do this one. The Grey Wardens need their traditional Dwarven allies. The Blight is coming. They must unite for Ferelden. Let's do that. Wait. Who are you to speak for Ferelden? You're no messenger to Loghain. That's for certain. Thank the ancestors. Their Grey Wardens need their traditional Dwarven allies. See, this is trouble. This is trouble. Wardens killed King Kaelin and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. A stain? A foreigner? I happen to be a Ferelden thing for Belton? Am I for Belton? I think I'm for Belton. I happen to be from here. That's enough. Raise your blade if you're so tough. Intimidate. Oh, yes. Run to your false king. The dwarves will not hear him today. You, you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. I'd like to see him try. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. Shale looks like she was ready to go. You know? She did. She absolutely did. She was ready. A trust follow, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting. But your presence will be tolerated. Civil war amongst the dwarves? Fair journeys, Warden. Okay. Oh, magnificent. This must be the statues of the dwarven paragons. Mm? Let's see. Paragon... Bem Bena Bemet? 
the explanation of the paragons. So we've got some over here. Oh, we got one here. Orton. Now that's a thing of beauty, daughter. If you work hard like Branca, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. Yes, mother. As you say. Okay. If only you had come at a less troubled time. Mm. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys. Latena. Prilden. Mm. Did we get everybody? Commission so, report. Shale, when you were standing there all that time, did you sleep? I have no need to sleep. My body does not tire or do ugh, other flesh related functions. But don't you get bored? Wouldn't you want to dream at least? I do not dream. This is what it does when it sleeps. It pours its nose and mumbles incoherently. Yes, of course. I thought we all... Huh. You watch me? I watch all closely when they are still at night. There is little else to do. For... hours and hours? I count the breaths. It helps to overcome the overwhelming urge to crush their faces while they sleep. Well... I won't be doing much of that anymore. Right. I don't think so either. I think I'll stay awake from now on. One, two, Shale is coming for you. All right. Commission report? I shall do it. Commission report. Key to the city. While your concerns have merit, the assembly has made itself clear. Space within the, the Taig is at premium, but the intended function of the hall merits the additional resources committed. The statues of the Paragons must be the core of the Hall of Heroes. There is no other placement that so benefits Dwarven interests. It is the first glimpse that surface ambassadors have of Orzammar, an introduction not just to our living ancestors, but also to the stone from which we were born. They must see it shaped before they can understand the complexity of its raw form. The hall must also serve a second purpose, as a last sight for a departing brethren. Those who choose to leave must do so with the heavy gaze of their ancestors at their backs. It is a reminder of duty and of consequence. We will promote all manner of trade, but also reinforce that those who leave for too long will return as strangers to the stone. From a from an re, from and report from a report of the Assembly Zoning Commission. So the dwarves believe and they don't believe in the maker, but their religion is um, something to do with the stone. Like I I guess it's kind of similar to what I've seen in World of Warcraft. I feel like dwarven lore is pretty um, cut and dry or pretty similar across the board when it comes to high fantasy games. Um, but they believe in the stone and that um, they return back to the stone or they they were they came from the stone and they returned back to the stone um, when when they die and they have this thing where if you were to leave if you go to the surface you cannot return well you can return only to do business but you can't return um, to live amongst the dwarves underground um, you become castless, you become an outcast. And I think there's actual outcasts and castless that live in Orzammar, but they have, they're separated. So I, I don't know. I don't quite remember. But anyways, let's get back to it. It, is begun. it has begun. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will 
not have Balin incite a riot. Do not speak that way about the man who should be king! <laughs> Wow. I won't have fighting in the commons, especially in front of outsiders. Are we sure we want to go in here? What's this? Signpost. Diamond quarter right, proving ground straight ahead. Who are you, Captain of the Guard? Captain. Yeah, that's surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Hey, I've got no issue with you guys, really. The blight is coming in. I need to order Orzmar's assistance. Can a city function like this? I don't think so. See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy. And the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Haramont in there. Sort this all out in a hurry. Hmm. Okay. Haramont and Balin are the ones I need. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn in the assembly. Lord Haramont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Um, you mentioned paragons? Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperin, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. I mean, he's right. He has a point. If I'm to do any type of any type of um, what what do I want to call it? If I want to talk to the dwarves and convince them that they should help us, I do need to know more about how they how they do things, how they go about things. So the shaper would be a great place to start, right? The blight is coming. I need Orzmar's assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. A bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Aromont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Okay, I should get going. Yes, you should. So he says that I have surf. These are surface issues, but let's just be clear, sir that this is not just a surface issue that the darkspawn hail from the below you live in the below so therefore they will some way somehow affect you also so speak to prince balin second in command prince balin is one of the two men who could take the throne to earn an audience with balin you must speak to vartag gavron his second in command vartag may be found in the assembly chamber which is in the diamond quarter so we've got three quests here. Seek out Steward Bandalore. Speak to the Lords of the Assembly. The leadership of Orzammar is chaos. Um, addressing the Assembly seems like the likely place to start looking for a solution. The Chamber of the Assembly is the Diamond Quarter. Okay. Then Doolin for Render. Speak to Doolin for Render. Lord Haramount is one of the two men who could take the throne. To earn an audience with the Haramont, Haramont? With Haramont, you must speak to Doolin for render. You can find Doolin either in Haramont's estate in the Diamond Quarter or in Tapster's Tavern. Okay. So, we got uh, somebody standing there. Let's go talk to this person. Who are you? Nerav? Did you see that? I cannot believe what this city has come to. This would never have happened when Endrin was alive. I saw it. Um, this Balin, is that the King Endrin's son? Aye. What a terrible burden for a father to have only Balin left of three fine sons. 
In the end, Endrin himself recognized that Balin cared for nothing but power. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced Lord Harrowmont as his heir. What do you know about this Lord Harrowmont? Lord Harrowmont should be our king. He was King Endrin's closest advisor, the only one he could trust. Endrin himself, ancestors welcome him, asked the assembly to endorse Harrowmont. Hmm. Why such hate for Belen? Everybody knows he killed his brother Tree and let his father's favorite son take the blame. And many question whether Endrin died a bed, as we were told, or whether Balin helped him along. How did Endrin die? He is a good man and the skilled general. Oh. King Endrin no, trusted that's... him with his life, and I will do no less. Okay, that was, I guess, me asking if he was qualified. So, how did Endrin die? He died in bed after his eldest son was murdered, and the assembly condemned his second son for it. I cannot blame him for preferring to join the ancestors in eternal peace if Balin didn't murder him himself. And who are you? I am Narav Helmi, third daughter of the second matron of House Helmi. And you, stranger, what brings you to Orzammar at such a time? I am Natalia, a Grey Warden, and I'm here seeking aid. A Grey Warden? That explains why they allowed you past the gates. What kind of aid do you need? I have a treaty compelling Orzammar to aid against a blight. A blight? Now? Yes. But our warriors are killing each other in the streets. I'm sorry, stranger. I fear there will be no aid for you in Orzammar. If you seek Lord Harrowmont's support, I suggest you talk with his trusted advisor, Doolin Ferender. He might be able to get you an audience. So, my thought in this is that um, this is going to be extremely political. Extremely. And... Um, this is right up Natalia's alley, I think. I think this is. This is this locked. Commoner. Talk to you. One day the Paragon Branca will return. Oh, and on that day. Okay. Who are you? My ancestors watch where you're treading. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. Okay. And Nug Wrangler, Boromir? 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 I knew I should have stuck to common Nugs. I've gone and lost them too. I'll never find them the way they skitter. No way I'm going back to that supplier at Dust Town. Nice eyelashes. Just shutting it down. Uh, are these things dangerous? We've got to boil them before roasting, but otherwise, no, safe as sand. Hmm. Some people swear they make good pets. May as well leash a turnip, I say. Oh, so they're, they're food for you all. If I see any nugs, I'll send them your way. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Okay. We're wrangling nugs. Hey. Is this? Nope. We're wrangling nugs. There's a nug. Looks like a naked mole rat. You wrangle the nug in a box ready for delivery to Boromor. Boromor, I've got a nug for you. Go on, I'm out of the nug game. Got nothing to sell. I got a nug for you. Saraka, I'm back in the game. Saraka. It is. Oh, I don't have much besides gratitude. But find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I found. Oh, sweet. I'm getting money for this. What is this? Diamond quarter. Um, Garen. Let's talk uh, to Garen. Excuse me. I, um, do you have a moment? Sure. You look like you're not from around here. I am not. I mean, I'm taller than all of you, so obviously I'm not from around here. Come on. Can I help you? I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the circle? <laughs> have I? Um, of course I've heard of the circle trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. Um... 
You're crazy. Dwarves can't do magic. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, with dwarves, because of where they come from, I think, is it because they come from the stone that they cannot do magic? There are no dwarven mages whatsoever. So they can't wield magic. And so, therefore... She, she wants to learn. Ma okay, whatever. You're crazy. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface, and the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of Lyrium smithing. Okay. Sure. Um, I can bring the circle your request. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperium's Verticum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. She's excited. New quest available. An unlikely scholar, when approves, bring Dagna's request to the Circle of Magi. You met a young dwarven woman named Dagna. Whose biggest wish is to study magic at the Circle of Magi, even though dwarves are incapable of doing magic. She wants to study its theory. Fair enough. He agreed to go to the Circle to ask them if Dagna can study there. Okay, fine. Uh, Garen, let's talk to you. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garenson's luxury goods shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. Yeah. I've never seen one of those before. One of what? The things they come up with. What was I saying? Oh, you're talking about shale. Um, have a look at my shop. Nothing coherent. Are you all right? Are you all right? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or well, maybe they're too polite to mention it. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. Ooh. Maybe it was a bad thing. I, uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, oh. it's been a... Uh, little hard for me to concentrate hmm. except when forging then I'm straight as an arrow best work I've ever seen l l l look around the shop uh, See for yourself. so is he like addicted to lyrium or something I don't understand what happened to you well, it's the lyrium you know raw blood of the earth it's more alive than you and me m m m most of the time that's no problem when it's all bundled up in a piece of steel it'll leave you alone Handling the ore directly, so sometimes you get burned. It's not just your skin, it takes off. It'll burn directly into your mind. Oh. Aren't dwarves immune to lyrium's effect? Yeah, that's... I, of course we are. Weak surfaces like you touch the raw ore, and you'll bleed from your eyeballs in hours. Weird seeing how big you are. Even surface dwarves lose it. Us down here, though, we should be able to handle it just fine. Only not too much, and not every day, and not breathing the dust, and not directing the blood. Ancestors' own bad luck. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let me see your wares. Right. Best in the trade, you know. I worked the ore myself. <laughs> Alrighty, sir. Physical, medical, da 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 Oh, look at this, Shale. Is there anything that I can sell? I should have put these away. Dagnabbit. Ooh, life giver. Hold the phone. All right. We're going to go upstairs. What's over here? Does that lead out A nug. I hear they're calling with dog spawn. You wrangled a nug. All right. Let's talk to these dudes. Mines Commander, hello. What's this? A human? Yes. Do we make these tunnels tall enough for humans? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. Okay. And I've heard nothing of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. Why do you need patrols? Don't let the comm fool you. The Darkspawn are down there, aren't they, Commander? Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Hmm. Hmm. Are the darkspawn the only danger in these tunnels? Of course not. 
Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Giant spiders, of course. Why wouldn't there be? Um, deep stalkers? What are those? Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. Okay. All right. Well, I should go. All right. For your sake, I hope you've no reason to come here again. Me too. I'm just gonna go this way. Let's see. I'm gonna go this way. Where are we at? Diamond Quarter? Noble? Where's my guard? Let's talk to the noble. Ancestors guide your steps, Warden. Thank you. Uh, Ed. So the closer you live to the surface, the higher class you are. Unless you're actually on the surface. Yeah, that makes sense. Not at all. A doll helmy? You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. Okay. Alrighty. Questions or arise regarding Lord Balin's impending marriage to a castless commoner. Favoritism to the castless suspected. What? Sorry, can't talk. A crier's work is never done. Okay. Who are these? Talk to you. Is it true there's civil war on the surface, too? Yes, there is. I didn't think about that. There's civil war on the surface and there's civil war below. Take that. What is this? Anybody? Oh! Is this where we need to be? Haramont's estate. Uh, butler, noble, noble, Haramont guard. Let's talk to the butler. Hello, Welcome Jeeves. Lord Haramont's estate. That's all you have to say. Let's talk to Doolin. Doolin, that's who we need to talk to. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender. Hi, Doolin. Second to Lord Haramont. Pleased to meet you. Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. Well, <laughs> reality sets in. That you just really need to, to put aside the civil war for just a moment. Defeat the dark spawn, and then you can get back to whatever this is. Okay. I would like to speak to Lord Haramont. In an ordinary time, Lord Haramont would be Haramont. honored to meet you. Unfortunately, we've already caught more than one of Balin's spies approaching Haramont under a pretense of friendship. Are you calling so me a spy? I'm afraid I won't be able to take your word. Okay. If you want to speak to Haramont, you will need to prove he can trust you. Okay. Uh, how can I prove I'm not working for Balin? That's a generous offer. If you mean it, you might attend the proving today. The Deshers take it very seriously. And unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Haramont's best fighters into stepping down. Okay. So you'd like me to enter the Proving in Haramont's name. Do you want me to find out why your fighters dropped out? Let's ask that first. That would be enlightening. Okay. Though I hope you won't pry too deeply into things they don't wish revealed. If you wish to show your loyalty, enter the Proving as his Lordship's champion. With your order's reputation, I've no doubt the ancestors would favor your arm. Dalen would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Haramont would have no fear of meeting with you then. So basically, I have to take a side. There's no middle ground. I'm all in or not. I'm going to fight for Haramont in his name. Or I don't get an audience. Is that what we're dealing with? I don't want to start picking sides. Then I'm afraid your only choice is to wait until there's a winner. Lord Haramont cannot risk his life working with someone of unproven loyalties. If you change your mind, let me know. The proving is this afternoon, and Lord Haramont could certainly use you on his side. How do you even know I can fight? Well, obviously I can fight, but okay. You found Doolin for render and spoke with him, so that's all I got. Okay, let's talk to him again. Do you see how things lie, Warden? 
Lord Harrowmont cannot trust you unproven, but he welcomes a good faith gesture. Okay, the Provings. Tell me about them. The Provings are how our ancestors show their judgment, pitting body against body in a ring of scared stone. Everyone in Orzammar accepts that judgment. And who's fighting for Balin today? The usual. A couple of Idukans, some Gavorns. I he has many men lined up, but not all of them are top ranking. Piotan Idukan and Wojcik Ivo are his best. They're both unpredictable and some of the best fighters Orzammar has seen. How well do you know Lord Harrimont? I served under General Harrimont for three years. Under his command, every dwarven life is important. He would not waste even a single soldier. He is the king Orzammar needs, especially in a blight. Balin would call any fight a victory so long as he remains standing. Okay, I should get going. Have you decided then? Will you enter the provings in Harrowmont's name? Uh. All right, so gathering the information that I have about Balin and Harrowmont so far from the conversation that we had earlier with the lady at the beginning um, of at the entrance Balin is not to be trusted he his father didn't even trust him enough to make him heir to the throne he instead appointed Harrimont so also it sounds like Balin got his brother killed or killed his oldest brother and then blamed this the second oldest brother um which is shady as I'll get out of that's true um So far, everything that I've heard about Balin is not good. I don't know a lot about Har Haramount, but I haven't heard anything horrible. Obviously, if I were to speak to someone on Balin's side, I'd obviously hear some questionable things. But if your own father won't even appoint you as his heir to the throne... That bodes, that to me, um, makes me, that is a very good reason to question who you are, your, your moral compass. And so I'm going to support Lord Haramont. Is that his name? Okay, I'll enter the Proving. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the Proving Master and tell him you're entering Lord Harriman's roster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Beisel. Guidon. You can look for them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring. Okay. And be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. Maybe we should go to the Tapster's Tavern just to be going to the Tapster's. What the heck was that? Oh, that was. What's going on over here? This looks interesting. We can't go in here. Can we go in here? Let's see if we can go in here. Scroll. Tercy. Hello. You must be under great strain with the blight upon the land. I will pray to the stone for you. Thank you. Great sword, Viridian. What do we have here over here? Oh. Sure. I'll take it. Another scroll. I can't. Can I not? New Codex, a letter from King Entrin. Let's read this. My Lord Haramont, my guilt weighs heavily on me, and I know now that I was a fool. Only a fool would cut out his own heart and burn it for the sake of appearances. 
I allow the assembly to send my child to exile and death because I feared an inquiry into Trian's murder would taint our house with scandal. You have been my rock and my shield these long months, and for that I thank you. But I must ask for one more thing. I wish to discover if my child survived. Even the smallest trace will set my mind at ease. Send your men, your scouts, anyone who will go. Balin thinks I am mad. He says that if word spreads of my wish, our house will be undone. He doesn't know that I, Dukin, is already lost. I destroyed us when I sacrificed what was most precious. Please, Pyrrhal, help me. I come to you not as a king, but as a father. A note from late King Endrin I. Dukin. So... Trian is the oldest who was murdered. Oh, wait, is Pyrrhal the second, the second son? The seventh son of the seventh son. Sorry. Pyrrhal is the second son. And Balin is the one that people are saying killed Trian. Yeah, obviously King, obviously King Endrin trusted Haramon. Her is this him? Handsome dude. Handsome dude. All right. I am... Um, mm, this is over here. Can you go in here? He's everywhere. His face. Let's go in here. Can we go in here? As you say. Hello. Hmm, there's nothing in here. All right. So the more I'm learning about Balin, the less I trust him. Okay, so where else can we go here? Who is this? Lady Dace? This has dragged on too long. It's an insult to King Endrin's memory. Okay. Where are you? Narav? What is this? Narav. I hope you'll support Lord Harrowmont. She's the lady that we spoke to earlier. And she's the one that gave us the, the details. The deets. The, Legion of the, the tea. Dead warriors secretly wear Prince Balin's colors. Our prince has Orzammar's deadliest warriors behind him. Hmm. So you must be for... Big houses they have. Yeah, so th this is the royal palace. All right, well, let's go in here and see what's up. Royal guard, who is a snowball? Royal guard. Oh, what the? What? Okay. Let's do this. Have a look around. Can we go in here? Cannot. How about here? What would it have opened up? Anything in here? Oh! Oh, hello! No, 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 no! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Who's that talking? I shall do it. It's a thief. Tunneling thief. 
Very well. Okay. As you say. Oh, okay, the royal guard. Okay, come back here. Step on this thing. When you step on here. All right, I want to see what this opens up. If it opens up anything. What is this? Is this is nothing there. That's nothing there. Oh, I see. They came up through here. Okay. What were they looking for? There's a chest. Can we... Okay, we can go in all these. Okay. Treasure, maybe? A love letter? Codex updated. Um... Okay, which one have we not read yet? Dear Sir John, your ministrations, while well intentioned, hold no promise. Do not despair, for it is not for it is not you. It is of me. I require an interval to acquaint myself with the personage you awakened. I'm certain we can maintain an amiable accord, and that engagements with our mutual associations will not be awkward. Mari. I don't know why I feel like reading that in, in a horrible English accent, but I did it nonetheless. Ooh. Nice digs. Is that all like... Uh, is this the kitchen? It's hard to tell with this dwarven architect. Like, what's what? I guess that's the kitchen. Alright, now what are we looking for? Can we go in here? Shall be done. Oh, this is huge. This is the throne of Orzammar. Oh, so this... Well, what did that open? This is the throne of Orzammar. Is there anything back here? Did this open? It didn't. I don't know. So I have no idea what that would have even opened. So we can go through here, though. I shall Maybe it was just opening the... I have no idea. Okay. Nonetheless, we're done. We're done here. Nothing to see. Alright. The Dwarven Noble, 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 Noble. What's here? Chamber of the Assembly. I don't want to go there quite yet. I want to see what's over here. Look at this place. Look at this place. Isn't it neat? Uh, anything over here? No. Any more nugs? No. Let's shaper it. Very well. We need to go there. We need to go to the shaper it. Okay. Hello, shaper it. Who would dare take from the memory? Okay. You must be the one. Orden, I'm outraged. A thief and a shaper. What have we been reduced to? Uh, did you get a look, good look at him? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Thief in the House of Learning. There's a thief in the temple tonight. Track down the thief who stole a tomb, tome, tome from a shaper. A shaper reported a theft from the shaper. The thief had a bald head and a garish and garish tattoo, suggesting he is a brand from the slums. Okay. I'm quite busy. Please oh, do not disturb me. Sure. Okay. Let's talk to you. What's your name, Orta? Oh, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. What kind of research? I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the last blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended mm. from the Paragon Orton, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. 
Oh, I'm a great warden. I'm not afraid of the deep roads. I don't know about that because I don't know anything about the deep roads. Uh, I could try to find them. You're from the surface. What do you know about fighting dark spawn? There aren't even any expeditions planned until they settle this election. I'm a great. Otherwise, you need special permission from the assembly or some great lord. I'm a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Tyke, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Tyke in any records, that could do it. Okay. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. Okay, new quest lost in the memories. Lost to the memories. Orta has asked you to search for this, the lost, long lost house of Orton. Records in the Orton Tyke. She believes that one daughter of the house may have survived the Darkspawn and that she is a descendant of that daughter. If Orta finds proof that this is true, she will be raised up as a noble. That would be very cool. I would love to help her. The New Codex, the Legion of Steel. Paragon Caradon vanished in the 11th year of the reign of King Valter, and with the Paragon, the entire process for Gollum manufacture was lost. Expeditions were sent in the deep roads to track him, but the Darkspawn drove them all back. Finally, in the second year of the region of Queen Getha, 126 Gollums, the entire Legion of Steel, were sent to recover the Paragon. None returned. The Shaper of Golems refused to support any further attempts to find Caradon, and the Paragon was officially declared dead. The Shaper never recovered from the loss of an entire legion of Golems and never again allowed an all-Golem regiment in the Deep Roads. From the Stone Halls of the Dwarves by Brother Genitivi, Chantry Scholar. I tell ya, that Genitivi, the man gets around book. I shall do it. Deep roads. Mm, I won't read that, but oh, you know, no. All right, anything else? Lots of books, lots of books. In praise of the humble nug. Mm, you know what? Let's read this. I once served a human some nug, and he proclaimed that it was like eating an unholy union of pork and hair. The idea disturbed him so much that he declined to finish his serving and made himself content with some stale bread. Of course, this only goes to show that surfacers, humans or otherwise, have tragically unrefined palates. The nug is surely the most delicious animal I have ever tasted. Only a dead man would not salivate at the thought of a tender morsel of roast nug melting in his mouth. The paragon, Varen, although his house has fallen, shall always be remembered for discovering the wonders of nug flesh. Admittedly, it was discovered only out of desperation when he was separated from his legion and lost in the deep roads for a week. But we won't behold that against the good paragon. While nug pancakes and nuggets, my own children love these, are the nug dishes one encounters most often, the nug can be prepared in other interesting and elegant ways. The late king, Ansgar I. Dukin, adored nug seared on a hot metal plate and finished in the oven and dressed in a cream sauce finished in deep mushrooms with deep mushrooms you must be careful when using the mushrooms from the deep roads because they grow often they often grow close to dark spawn bodies they say that this is what gives them their unique flavor and intoxicating scent intoxicating scent but it also means that the cons that consuming too many of these too many of them may result in curious afflictions of the mind Hmm. From the Praise of the Humble Nug by Bregan Tolbran? Tolban? Honored Chef to House I Dukin. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. Can't help myself. All right. Book. What do we got? Where's more politics? I think we've had enough of that. Legion of the Dead. Interesting. That's quite long. The Legion accepts all. There's a lot of um, books here. Dwarven Faith. The chant of light is almost never heard in the halls of Orzammar. This is hardly surprising, for unlike the elves who were literally abandoned by their gods, or the Deventers who worship dragons, the dwarves have no gods at all. 
Even the concept of worship is foreign in Orzmar. Instead, the dwarves seem to venerate the stone, a name they give to the earth itself. Ah, this seems practical for the people living underground, and perhaps a bit unimaginative. For guidance in spiritual matters, they turn to their ancestors. These ancestors, who are said to have returned to the stone, communicate their wishes to the living via brutal trials by combat, called provings. The ancestors' collective wisdom is maintained, maintained, maintained by the shaper, which can apparently store records in lyrium itself said above the ancestors above even kings are the paragons dwarves who have achieved such greatness that they are elevated almost to godhood these are the great figures holding up the hallway that leads from the surface the first glimpse of orzammar that outsiders see from in the pursuit of knowledge the travels of a chantry scholar by brother genitivi like i said wall of memories the Shaper's life. The blessing of the Shaper is given only to those who walk with the stone. It is a path that cuts deep and the road is far from secure, but those who desire to work in memory must first honor it, document the stone, protect her, and present a new history in the memories. Only then will the blessing of the Shaper be upon you. From the Shaper's life. Okay, so this is a special position to work here. Traditional dwarven folk songs. Nug sits in the mud. Nug wiggles his ears. You can catch the Nug. He slips away. Nug gets to live another day. Nug sits in the mud. Nug wiggles his toes. You hook the Nug. He slips away. Now the Nug runs, runs off to play. Nug sits in the mug. Nug wiggles his nose. You tickle the Nug. He laughs away. Now the Nug sits on my plate. Nug pancakes. A well-loved dwarven nursery rhyme. Okay. Search for the true prophet. Hmm. Sounds like something. Ooh, gloves of diligence. I have another piece of that in my. Yeah. Gloves of diligence. Armor of diligence. So there has to be a full set. Um. All right. So we did we talk to him? I don't think we did. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. Oh, um, how do you know who I am? The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. Let's talk about Orzammar, Lord Shaper. Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. What's the difference between an ancestor and a paragon? All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors, to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to paragon. A paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. Are there any paragons in Orzammar now? There is one paragon of this generation, a woman named Branca. She was born a smith, but her inventions caught the assembly's eye. Before she had seen 20 years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her paragon status. And where is Branca now? She went into the deep roads two years ago, seeking out secrets of the ancient smiths. She never returned. Okay, tell me of some of Orzmar's history. We were a great empire once, outnumbering even humans and elves. We traded with your Tevinter Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Cal Shirok was capital then, but we lost too many battles. We lost our golems, and we lost our territory. Now the empire is simply ruined tunnels filled with darkspawn. Um, how do you, how did you lose your golems? The Paragon Caradon, a smith of unsurpassed genius, invented the golems. For years they were our weapon against the darkspawn. One golem is worth a dozen dwarves in battle, but Caradon's tag is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating golems. There are books about it along these walls if you would read more. 
golems like this. Yes. We have only a few dozen left in Orzammar, and I do not recognize this one. Where did you find it? Every golem is precious to us. Pick him out, we pay a good sum for a new find. I'd sooner jump into a pit of lava. Unfortunate. Was there anything else? I must tell the rest of the Shaperit about this discovery. Um, where is Kal Shirak? At the other side of the old empire. During the last blight, the kings of Orzammar knew they couldn't hold everything. They sealed the deep roads, abandoning everyone still trapped in far-flung settlements. It was the only way to survive. Kal Shirak is the only other city to outlast the blight. We only rediscovered them recently, and they still haven't forgiven us. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. I should go. Your presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. Well, I am honored. Okay. So, we've got a couple things to do in Orosamar. Quite a bit, actually. And... Funny, he said that he doesn't recognize Shale, but maybe it's because Shale has been gone for so long. Um. Okay, so. Why they decided to build a city around streams of lava? It's an accident waiting to happen. I mean, you're not wrong, but I could see if they are a people of metal, they would need the. Um. They wouldn't need the lava. Plus, um, it's probably extremely cold down here. And the lava would be a great heat source. All right. So we've got a few quests that we need to Lord get done. Lord Balin is the voice of change and defense. Lord Haramont is the voice of stagnation and ruin. Okay. Whatever you say, Jim Shu. All right, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end it here. I will definitely be continuing on with our quest in Orzammar. We have to figure out what's going on with Lord Haramount's, um, like, the people that are fighting for him in the, pro in the Proving Grounds, I guess. Um, also, Dagna, is that her name? Dagna wants us to go to the Circle of Magi to convince them to let her come study magic um and there's a thief there's a thief in the temple tonight we have to find out who stole a scroll from the shape right anyways that is all that i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this episode and i'm glad to be back and i hope to see you again here real soon sometime this week hopefully right Ciao.